Meantime, a hearing in federal court today, days before a law is set to take effect in Florida. That could force politicians out of their jobs. People on both sides of the aisle are fighting that law. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live in Miami to tell us what happened today. Hatzel. So, Sodella, attorneys for several South Florida politicians believe that if this law goes into effect, it will affect thousands of public officials, which is why they're asking the federal judge to put the law on hold. That's what they did today, but the judge said no. Hundreds, possibly thousands of politicians here in Florida may have to step down from their elected post following today's hearing in federal court. The judge determined that she wanted to have a briefing from the state of Florida before making that decision. Judge Beth Bloom was asked to temporarily suspend the state law that implements Amendment 12, which prohibits public officials from lobbying for money during their term in office or for six years after they leave office. Back in February, the state legislature approved the law that implements the amendment. The governor signed it in May and it goes into effect December 31st. It's putting people in position they have to decide between their, their private jobs and their public office. Scott Hyacin and other high profile attorneys are representing several local politicians in a lawsuit that claims Amendment 12 and the subsequent law violates the First Amendment. In court, the state's attorney general office pointed out Amendment 12 was approved by almost 80 percent of the voters in 2018. The state questioned the timing of the lawsuit, arguing politicians have had ample time to bring this to court, but chose to wait until the last minute. But the other side argues they thought the recent special legislative session would fix some of what they call broad language in the law. Locally, both Republicans and Democrats are fighting the new law. Rene Garcia, currently Miami-Dade County Commissioner, former chair of the Republican Party here. Javier Fernandez, a Democrat, currently mayor of South Miami, who was previously a member of the Florida House. And Miami Shores Councilwoman Crystal Wagger is also taking part in the suit. The effects of the law already being felt in municipalities like the Shores, where last night the council had to appoint a new member after another elected official quit because of the law. And so now politicians across the state have 48 hours to decide if they want to keep their lobbying job or if they want to uh, stay in public office. By the way, the judge has agreed for a hearing. That hearing happening January 27th at 11 a.m. We're now reporting live from downtown Miami. I'm Hatsovala, local 10.